Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. I'm a very firm believer about decluttering. I strongly believe that you know we should declutter our things at least three, every three to four months. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start off with makeup. Yes, makeup and then skincare. Maybe I combine the two, depends how long I want this video to be, or maybe I break it down in the second part. Even though I'm not a beauty blogger, I do feel that I have a lot of makeup, but I did get married last year, and the year before I had my engagement ceremony, and normally they give out like gifts and stuff, and you would get, um, like, you know, you get like makeup sets and stuff like that. That's why I feel I have more makeup than I used to before. But I am going to declutter and I'm going to take you through with all my decluttering process. I do think if it's all, for example, I know there's set rules. I'm going to, maybe I'll find it and I'll link it down below. Um, where you have to throw your mascara every six months and you know foundation you have to get rid of it even though you know there's expiry date but sometimes you know it smells a bit funny you should get rid of it don't use it on your skin because what happened with one of my foundation I have had it over a, I think I've had it over a year ago and even though it says it's going to expire in 24 months it started to have dry patches around it and I knew it straight away that you know that's it the time's gone for this foundation it's done and I need to have get a new foundation. Let me take you through because I, I feel like I'm rambling too much and I don't want to ramble. I think it's best if I show it to you. So yeah, let's go. Yes, go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, guys. So this is my wardrobe. This is just one part of my wardrobe, I should say. Usually I have all my makeup stored in here. So I'm going to show you. Let's get it. This is one part of my wardrobe. It's quite messy, as you can see. <laughs> so I have all my makeup on this side, and I have my skincare, and I have like my perfumes and all at the top as well. Gosh, Vicks bomb. <laughs> um, so we're gonna start off by taking everything out. So I like to do it um, con Mary method, but I'm doing it in parts. In terms, I'm doing it the other way around. I'm doing the makeup first. And then I might do like a clothing one afterwards. Um, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to take everything out so I can see what exactly I have. And then I'm going to sort out in categories. Hi guys, I'm back. So here is all my makeup products all laid out. I'm going to show you guys one by one uh, each category and we'll sort them together. So let's go. Uh, the first thing I want to do is foundations. Um, I've had this foundation for both of them actually around uh, about two years ago now. So this is the one that gave me dry patches and this one also, I don't know, it just doesn't stay put. So both of them have been two years old so it's definitely they're going to go. I was I've used most of it, it's only a little bit left, so it's okay. So that's my bin pile. And this one as well. These two were the samples, and I really, really like this NARS one. And I actually went ahead uh, and bought the full size of it now. The second category I'm going to go through is my concealer category, and actually. I got the new one already because I have been using this concealer concealer for about three years now and I really like it. I actually um, saw Zola using it. You know, a lot of people talked about a lot of beauty bloggers, bloggers talked about it and I really enjoy it. So I've been using it and this one's been <laughs> old. It's been over a year now so this is going and this is a new one so that's going to the bin pile then I have this this is like a corrector I only bought it last year and um, it's nice but because I'm not a beauty girl I have no idea um, how this kind of things work but it's supposed to like you know darken around your eye under the eye area 
sorry, it's supposed to be bright and not dark, and it's supposed to be, um, it brights your under eye area, and I've used it, I mean, it works. The other category is my powder. Uh, I only got two. This one, I got it from US, and I really, really like it. Definitely going to buy um, the bigger package now. This was, this was a smaller package one, and I really definitely recommend it for anybody who has combination skin. This one is a girl in one. This was actually last year's Christmas collection one. Um, but I really like it. I, I just recently bought it and I got it in sale. I got it like for such a bargain. I only paid like £22 for it. Um, John Lewis um, had it and I was just like, wow, great. It was a bargain instead of buying the full price one which was like £45. Um, and I really like it and I love it how it smells. It smells really nice. Uh, so I'm definitely using that as well. It's like a highlight of powder. The next category is my eye palette. So this is where I, you might think, gosh, I have so many of them. But this four were the gifts. Um, these are the only two that I purchased. So this one, I bought it from Kiko and it's broken. You can see the state of it. It's not the best state of it. And I really... It's okay, I mean, oh no, 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 I cannot let my, oh no, I cannot let this ruin. Okay, okay, okay. The state of this palette is just like unbelievable. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to purchase it again. This one is the Body Shop one. <clears throat> the only reason I got it because it had like glittering shades. Um, and I like it, it's nice, it's nice. It's a gift. Um, and... Basically, it has all the other colors that you want, especially when you wear like, you know, Indian saris and dresses. This is quite good. Um, I only use it, you know, when I'm wearing colorful stuff, <laughs> colorful Indian wear. And this one was a gift from my husband. I think this was a gift. Uh, he gave it to me when we had our engagement ceremony done. So I really like it. Naked palette. This one was a gift from a baby shower. It was a makeup revolution. Sorry, the name's gone off. And this was a gift from a friend for her baby shower. So that was really nice. I like it. It's a highlighter palette. I like it, like it. So this one, so the whole Estee Lauder stuff that I have, all of them came in the gift case. So this was the apple. I've never used it. I'm going to use it after I've used some of this and then I'll use it. Um, oh, yeah. So this one uh, came with the gift set. So it was the eye palette. Then I got lipsticks here and then lip gloss and a mascara. You will see. So all of them came in a gift set and my in-laws gave it to me for my wedding last year. The next category we're gonna go through is my primer. So, <laughs> I've completely used up this primer and I really, really enjoyed it. I've had it for oh, around two years now and I really like it. So first time I bought the Epsilorant one, I don't know how people call it, is it Epsilorant Viacel? I just call it Viacel, it's easier to pronounce. Um, so I'm gonna, throw this one because clearly it's gone so that was the bin pile so that's the only primer I have now and um, the next category we're gonna go through is my lipsticks oh my gosh I love a good lipstick um so this three the Estee Lauder ones I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it to be honest with you I'm gonna give it to my friends and family this is new. This came with the Benefit, um, what do you call it? It came with the Benefit beauty bag that I've had. It's all, it's like your travel makeup bag, so it came with that one. So I'm going to keep it. And uh, this one, I'm not sure with... Oh yeah, this one came with the Benefit beauty bag that I started using. And this one came with the Birch box. I only used Birch box once and it came with that one. This one, Charlotte Tilbury, uh, the Bond girl, oh, I bought it. It's nearly gone and this is actually going to go to bin because recently it's been started to smell so I know it's expired now. It's definitely going to go to bin. 
Yeah, it's already been 24 months, so I think I should give it a go. It's gonna go. This one I bought last year. I like it. This is new. I had it before. Same color, and I really, really like it. It's a lot of one. It's hard to find this color. So I got it when I found it. Mac, uh, I got it earlier this year as well. It's like red. So red. It's like summery red here. Ooh. And this is one of my favorite lipsticks. This is the Char uh, Chanel. Charlotte Tilbury is the Chanel lipstick. Okay, the next category is my lip gloss. Both are from Sephora. I think I heard a lot about them from beauty bloggers. And when I went to US, I bought them. I really like both the shades. This one came with the Estee Lauder set again. I don't, I've never used them. I'm not sure about lip gloss with me hit and miss, but I might give it a try um, and see how I like it. The next category is my highlighters. Oh my gosh, I love highlighting. So this one came with the Benefit gift set. I do really like it. I use it for my travel. Um, this one came again with the perfume set. And no, sorry, uh, make. It was mascara, highlighter, and uh, eyeliner. As uh, I mean, cardio liner, and it came with that one. I don't use it often because it's too precious to use it. But I try and uh, I use it when I go out, um, when I'm going out for a party or something. This one is the Benefit One Pearl Shine Girl Meets Pearl, and um, it's okay. Uh, I'm not a big fan of it, so I might not repurchase. This one is the bomb.com. On the skull, Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed. Oh my gosh, I love it. Only a only little bit goes a far, far. You just use it a little bit and it's perfect. I got it when I was in US. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. This is all my blushes. So this came with the Estee Lauder gift set again. I've never used it and I'm going to use it afterwards. This one I got it from Sephora but I don't use it very often. I'm going to give it to family again. This one I have not used it. It came with the Charlotte Tilbury gift set. I'm going to try and use it once I have finished off with one of these. This one I use it for travel. Um, so I got it for the Benefit gift set. and. I like it, you know, it's quite nice. I mean, uh, what is it called? Rocketeer, Rocketeer. I don't know how to pronounce some of this stuff actually. It's quite nice, I like it. it comes with a brush, which is handy when you're traveling. This one, I bought it. I've heard a lot about Benefit Tint and there's another one, Benefit, oh, I forgot the name. But I do like this one, it's quite nice. So these are all my blushes. The next thing we're going to go is my eye again. So these are the only individual, you can say, eyeshadows that I have. This one came with the gift set. I like it. This one's a Kiko one. It's a repurchase. I've used it before and I really, really like it. Um, it's like the shadow stick that they have. They have it in a lot of different colors, but I just went with one of the neutral colour that I like, uh, I've not had a chance to use it yet, it's from NYX. This one is Topshop One Glow, it can be used as an eyeshadow as well as highlighter and this is quite nice as well. This came with the Birch Box, I've never used it, it's an eyeshadow as well. It's a brand called Monacada Beauty. Sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong and the colour is called Fantasy. Hmm, I'm going to try it and see how it is. Good old mascara. Um, so this is my current one that I used and it's empty now. So it's time for it to say goodbye. So that one's going to go. So that's bin. And then this one is a new one. This is a new one. So this came with the Estelotto gift set as well. And this is also a new one. And this three, so this was a sample that girl in, when I went to buy the Metro Tourist, I can't even put Metro Tourist powder, they gave me a sample of the girl in mascara. Nice. This one, I haven't used it yet. It's the uh, Charlotte Tilbury one. I haven't got around to use it. This is my travel mascara. I really like it. 
uh, the benefits they're real I've used it before and it's nice only <laughs> eyeliner that I have from Topshop and then yeah we can we can have all this category together <laughs> because it's quite small category so this is my only eyeliner I really really like it my sister-in-law cannot introduce me to this one she said this is the best one I don't know how to apply an eyeliner properly and she said this is a great one to use it I've used a few pen ones and they they tend to dry out well this one hasn't dried out yet but I've used it quite a lot and I know it's time for me to get a new one because it has been nearly six months so I'm gonna get a new one these one what is this one? Oh yeah this one I got it from Sephora last year it's like you know under eye you can you can highlight your under eye so that kind of liner this too I've had it for a long time um around one year or so um so with Asian outfits, like, you know, with saris and stuff, you can also use this as a liner. Or you can even, like, to um, use it as an eyeshadow base. This one came with a magazine. I've not used it. Um, it's a cardinal, but I have enough cardinals already going on, so I haven't used this one yet. This is a Topshop cardinal. I really like it. I use it currently. Uh, this one, again, came with the Viacel gift set. So I haven't used it yet, so I'm going to leave it. Lancome, the, it came with the mascara one. So this one is currently stays in my bag, uh, my travel bag, and it's nice. Only lip liners that I currently own. <laughs> so I only have four. These two are from Sephora. I like them. They're really nice. One's like dark ready and one's like pinky nude I like it this one I've not used it again this came with the magazine and I've not used it but it's like very nudie color um this one's a Charlotte Tilbury one and the name is lip lip what oh, sorry <laughs> um the color is crazy in love I like it I use it with the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick the Bongo lipstick that I have um so these four are my only lip liners this all came with the gift set this two Estelada came with the gift set um, I guess I'm gonna use it once uh, I'm done with my current makeup remover and then I'll start with this one this one's called micro essence something I'm not sure how to use it but I'm gonna try and figure it out this one's a Lancome one again I, I might use it for travel purposes because it's small um, this one came with I think it came with the birch box. It's like a serum, facial serum. Not sure when I'm gonna use this one. This one is the all good old nail cutter and stuff. And this one came with the naked palette. I have used this. It's like the Urban Decay eyeshadow priming potion, and I do like it. It's quite nice. Um, this one is also 24 hour smash bog shadow primer this is an, another eyeshadow primer this one came with the YSL and it's called instant moisture glow not sure what that is this one my sister-in-law gave me as a gift my cousin's sister-in-law gave me this as a gift when she bought it from Sephora and it's been actually it's been two years already I've not really used it it's called I don't even know what this called you're supposed to apply this before your lipstick um, but I'm not using it. I'm sure this is expired now, so it's time for it to go. Uh, and these two are my hand cream um, that I got it from Luxitan. And when I worked for them, oh, I really like I miss them. They're so nice. <sighs> I miss working in Luxitan. <laughs> this one came with the Charlotte Tilbury. This is their Wonder Glow. Uh, I haven't got around to using them. This one, Pure Skin Facials, came with the Birch Box. This one also came with the Birch Box. So that's going to be my next lip balm. This one's my, this is like an Icy Magic. I think it's the like Instant Eye Corrector, which I'm going to use. This is just my sharpener, my lip pencil. And this is like um, Oscar London. This is a face mask that I got with. I don't know how is it birch box or I'm not sure um, but I got it 
but I haven't used it yet. I'm, mostly I'm going to use it for trial purposes because it's so small. These are the bobby pins that you need all the time. Um, this is like my sample. <laughs> I have so many samples. Kills gave me one, Toner samples. I have Loxitan gave me so many samples. Um, mostly I think I use all those, you know, samples are best to use when you're traveling just because they're easy to carry. Um, so I'm going to make use of them when I'm traveling. So definitely, yeah. So that's all my makeup, guys. Um, I really like what I've used. I've used this. I love this furry blankety thing. And I used it <laughs> as my background for my makeup. <laughs> Decluttering video. Um, I hope you're right. I think this video is going to be long. So I think I'm going to do only makeup today. And now, let's put everything back. <laughs> These are, basically, this is where I store most of my makeup. And this is where I store my eye palettes. And this is where everything else is going to be, like all the extra bits goes in here. Oh, this is a necklace that my husband gave me a long time back. Very random, but yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope it has given you lots of tips that will help you to actually organize your own makeup and also help you to declutter your makeup as well. Next one I'm going to do is I'm going to try and do the skincare one. After skincare I'm going to try and do the clothing. Uh, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also please subscribe to my channel and comment below if you'd like to see more of organizing videos and yeah so it's gonna be bye really bye time for me thank you so much guys for watching bye, -bye.